So now let us talk about combining vowel roots. Right, so in the previous videos, we have already uh, talked about word roots and we talked about combining vowels and we touched upon combining form. So now let us talk about a few rules that govern the combination of word roots with their suffixes. Right, or word roots with another word root. So these are combining vowel so combining vowel rules so the first rule is you don't use combining vowel if the suffix begins with a vowel let me write it down don't use a combining vowel so you don't use a combining vowel if the suffix begins with a vowel. So this means that if the suffix begins with a vowel, then you drop the combining vowel. Right? So an example, let's take a, a word or a, a combining, a word root rather, a word root like gust, right? And then Combining form, if we add the combining vowel, we'll get a combining form of gastro, right? So this becomes gastro. And if we add, let's add a, a, a suffix, right? Like itis, which we've already seen, it means inflammation. Itis, the word becomes gastritis. Okay? So what has happened here is the suffix it right, begins with a vowel, right? And therefore, we don't need a connector, right? We don't need the combining vowel, so we drop this, okay? Such that the word doesn't, the word doesn't become gastroitis, right? So this would be wrong. So there's another situation you you may face whereby the word root ends. Uh, itself the word root without the combining vowel has a vowel right so for instance if our combining if our word root is cardi for cardio for heart cardi right the combining vowel becomes o and then this becomes cardio okay so once we add the combining vowel we get cardio plus Itis, right? So itis still for inflammation. So what this rule says is we drop the combining vowel. Okay, but if you look at this particular situation, it's not like the first one. In the first one, we didn't have a vowel in the word root, right? But here we have a vowel in the word root, such that we are expected therefore to drop this vowel as well. Right? So we are going to drop the combining vowel drop the combining vowel, and then also uh, drop the last vowel okay, in the word root, such that our word becomes carditis, right? So carditis instead of, okay, instead of carditis, okay? So this is wrong. And then this is correct. Okay, so the next rule is straightforward. Rule number two is straightforward. It says um, when you you have a suffix that begins with a consonant, right? So a consonant is any any letter that is not a, a vowel, basically. So if the suffix begins with a consonant, then you use a combining vowel. So use combining vowel, right? So here we can use the combining vowel if the suffix begins with a consonant, right? So an example of this situation is, there are many examples, right? So um, let's take hepat, hepat meaning liver, right? So this is the 
word root and then our combining vowel makes it hepato then we add a suffix that means enlargement the, the suffix is megali so we'll talk about suffixes in the next video right but for now just know that megali means uh, enlargement right so this word then becomes okay it says we use the combining vowel because the suffix begins with a consonant not a, a vowel right so this becomes hepatomegaly right so hepatomegaly right and not right so if if we were to say hepat so hepat if we were to say hepat megaly this would be wrong according to this rule okay so the next rule is rule number 3 right so it's important that you contrast rule number 3 with rule number 1 so remember that in rule number 1 we says don't use a combining vowel if the suffix begins with a, a vowel in this rule we are saying between right so between if you are dealing with a situation where it's between a word root and a word root, right? So between word roots, the combining vowel may not be dropped, right? So the combining vowel may not it may not be dropped, even if the second word root begins with a vowel, right? Even if the second word root begins with a vowel. Okay, so an example of this is you have two word roots, the second one begins with a vowel, so you maintain the combining vowel. Okay, so an example is uh, a, a, a word like gastroenteritis, right? A term like gastroenteritis where we have a gastro or gastro so this is the uh, word root we add our combining vowel right and it becomes gastro right and the, we call this a combining form right and then we add another combining ra rather another word root like entero or entro this is another word root with its combining vowel and it's entro or entero which means um, small intestines and then we add a suffix right remember that suffixes are mandatory i said that every medical term must have a suffix so the suffix in this case again we'll use the one that we are familiar with itis what would then happen if you look at the last part here between the second word root and the suffix we will follow the rule which says don't use a combining vowel if the suffix begins with a, a vowel so we are going to drop this combining vowel such that we, we end up with enteritis okay but here it says the rule says between a word root two word roots if the second word root begins with a vowel we don't drop the combining vowel we combine these as they are and then the final word becomes gastroenteritis okay so you can see that we maintained both vowels okay both the combining vowel and the vowel belonging to the second word root right so let's suppose for some reason you had decided to drop the combining vowel right and this would become this word instead of gastroenteritis it would become gastroenteritis right so gastroenteritis which is not correct okay so that's it for this particular video in the next video we will touch upon combining forms briefly uh, and then touch on prefixes